Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to show you guys all how to access the dark web safely on your PC, guys. Um, and I'm going to show you guys all the steps that I take in order to make sure I'm as safe as I can be while surfing the dark web. And also I'm going to show you guys all how to access it very easily. Um, this will probably take like 5 minutes to set up, 10 minutes at most, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. As you guys can see, I already have the Tor browser, and this is what you need to download in order to access the dark web. So how do you download it? Very simple, guys. It's just all it takes is one Google search. You're just gonna want to type in Tor Project um, on your on your browser, um, and then you just click on torproject.org, the first one right here, and then you're on the website. And then you just click Download Tor Browser, and then you're gonna see a bunch of options here. We've got the download for Android, download for Linux, download for OS exit and download for windows so i just did the windows download because i'm on windows 10 and then you literally download it um it takes you through the setup wizard and that literally takes like a, takes like a minute and then once you've got it downloaded here you have the actual tor browser and then you're pretty much able to access the dark web sites you know a lot of people wonder like what is the dark web um so basically the dark web like to dumb it down is it's like an unfiltered you know what browser that allows you to access many websites that you wouldn't normally see on regular browsers like google chrome firefox you know they're not regulated so you could find many like weird and interesting sites on here for example like marketplaces that sell drugs guns you know a bunch of crazy stuff um but i, I don't want to like explain everything i've seen on here because it is like wild stuff so i'll let you guys actually explore it for yourself but this is for educational purposes only, so don't explore it if you don't feel like it's the right thing to do, or if you just don't wanna, you know, get into that, because you don't know what you might see, guys, and I don't want anyone, like, I don't wanna be responsible for anything. So, yeah, guys, Um, now that I cleared that out of the way, how do you stay safe on Tor Browser, guys? Now, the w number one recommendation I could have for you guys is to purchase a VPN. So, the reason that I say you have should purchase it is because the free ones, honestly do not get the job done so if you're not gonna if you're gonna use a free vpn might as well not use a vpn at all i'm gonna be honest with you um number one they're just very slow they usually drop and you don't have that much uh like they don't have that much uh data that you can use up and you know like since they're free they have to make money somehow so they usually give away sell the information that you're you that um that you give them um to like other people that's the way they make money with the free vpn that is the honest truth guys so I actually know two VPNs that work very well for me, and that's ExpressVPN and NordVPN. Um, and you guys can go, act, go ahead and actually purchase them with the links down below, vpnglobe.net slash express and vpnglobe.net slash NordVPN. I'll leave these down below, and with these link, links, you'll actually be able to save some money, guys, um, on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the pricing right now. Um, and I actually have the VPNs downloaded because I do use them myself. Um, and I use them a lot and not only for dark web guys, you'll be able to use this for Netflix, you know, um, browsing websites. Say you got banned from discord from a discord server and you want to access it again. You just pop in, pop up your VPN, activate it and you can go ahead to it and you can go ahead and access it again. So there's many uses for these VPNs guys that you're not going to just use it for the dark web. Um, like I said, you can access American Netflix, UK Netflix. A lot of people use it for that reason. Um, one reason was to access Disney Plus if you're in the UK because it hasn't even been released in that part of the world yet. So there's a lot of uses for it. So like I said, guys, ExpressVPN and NordVPN, two very good VPNs, solid VPNs that I use regularly. Um, and I'm going to show you guys. And ExpressVPN is a little bit more expensive, by the way. Um, but, you know, you definitely are getting what you're paying for. Definitely getting your money's worth there. So I'm going to show you guys the applications too, just so you guys know that I'm not lying about, like I'm not just like promoting something I have no idea about. Um, you know, they're very, like I have the applications here, NordVPN and ExpressVPN. They're very easy to use. Any beginner would be able to get it. Um, so all you're going to do is literally, down, like once you purchase it, you just download it. And then you just see a bunch of locations, servers, I mean, and you just connect to them. So let's say you've got your Tor browser open. You want to hop on the dark web, you know, watch something, you know, whatever you want to do. You know, um, you know, just choose your location, click on it and connect and boom, you're protected guys. Your identity is secure. So yeah, links will be down below for that. Um, now I've pretty much covered everything I wanted to cover guys. As you can see, it's very down easy to download it and access it. It's not actually that hard. A lot of people have this misconception that it's like, oh my God, it's like so shady and all this crazy things like very hard to download. 
it's actually pretty easy guys to get on um, but just make sure you're staying safe with your VPN um, especially if you're gonna looking gonna be looking at some shady stuff um, and how do you guys find sites well that's pretty simple uh, go on Google and type in like how do I find um, Tor browser sites it can be a little bit confusing in the beginning as there isn't like something you just type in like gun marketplace and you won't be able to you'll be like I'll show you a bunch of searches you have to like actually like do a little bit of research to find what you're looking for um, but once you got it it should be pretty easy there's like lists you can find online um, of these sites so yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys thank you all very much for watching if you have any more questions about the dark web or VPNs and staying safe or any questions about the ExpressVPN or NordVPN, just let me know down below guys and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Um, have fun exploring the dark web, stay safe, stay anonymous, and peace out guys.